In the next step, I want to divide parcel into multiple numbers. For example, the property number 2 has total area of 31,000 square feet. Here I want to divide the property number 4 parcel into 10 parcel, where each parcel has 3,000 square feet as an area. As property 2 has more than 31,000 square feet, we need to decide on the remaining area. That means, when you are dividing parcel into multiple parcel, where each parcel has 3000 square feet, it has a remaining of 1000 square feet area. We can make an individual parcel for that 1000 square feet area. Otherwise, we can combine 1200 square feet into the last parcel, where it become the larger parcel with 4000 2000 square feet area. Otherwise, as a last option, we can equally distribute the remaining area into all parcels. To do automatic partition, I start from parcel menu. Select the option parcel by layout. Select the command slide line create. When you select the command, it automatically expands the toolbar as well as a dialog box also. In the dialog box, Select the site name followed by the parcel style to be created. Here I am selecting the style name, site name. Select the property style. Here I selected single family. Press OK. In the toolbar, we need to enter the dimension for the partition. As per our design, here I entered 3000 square feet as the minimum area. For minimum frontage and minimum frontage offset I entered 10 feet as the value. For minimum depth and width of the puzzle we can call it as 25 feet. Minimum width enter 25. Depth also I am entering it as 25. In automatic mode we have two option we can switch off or on automatic mode first we start from off condition we can combine the last puzzle in the reminder distribution that means 1200 square feet we need to decide the option here we can combine with the last puzzle or equally distribute with all puzzle or we can make it as a separate puzzle. Here I selected the puzzle as from reminder. Close the toolbar. After closing the toolbar, select the puzzle to be divided. To mark the frontage line, first we need to pick the start point of the frontage. Then move along the frontage line. Pick the end point of the frontage line. Next, we need to enter the partition angle here. From the frontage line, I want to create a partition for 90 degree. This is the first puzzle for 3000 square feet. The yellow color dotted line indicates the frontage offset. If the design is okay for us, we can accept it. Automatically, it shows the next option. If the design is not okay, you can go for no option. You can change the angle and I have entered 80 degree and press OK. I can change the angle 50 degree. If I require an inclined partition, automatically the next division falls on the entered angle. If you want to change it once again, go for no option, then change the angle here. Like that, we can divide the puzzle into multiple numbers. It's a manual method. Instead of using manual method, you can directly call the automatic function. Let me to explain that also. For that, I start from puzzle menu. Select puzzle by layout. In the command, I selected the same tool, slide line create. In the open dialog box, change the puzzle style to single family. Label style as puzzle name. Then as the settings. Minimum area I entered 3000 square feet and the remaining option I enter the same values. Here I 
here i kept the automatic condition on and the rem when you are making automatic function on condition when you enter the first angle it automatically divide all parcel segment most of the time it automatically changes the label name sometimes for the last parcel it's not able to change the parcel name so we need to select parcel right click go to parcel property under information change the label style to single family as well as we need to change the label style also if you want to reduce the text size select the parcel once again go to edit label style in the drop down list edit the current selection in the layout tab we can change the text height as per our requirement as per the input it has the larger area in the last parcel when i am using slide line creation it uses straight line to create the partition if you want to divide the partition in customized shape we need to create boundary line using draw tool you can use draw tool like line arc or polyline let me to create a shape in property 3 i start from line tool then i want to offset it for 50 feet from here as well as i want to create mirror for the same here i want to convert this u shape into a puzzle for that i start from puzzle menu create puzzle from object i selected the created shape during the creation here i want to create a new puzzle style called as shopping mall by default it has open space property to create the new puzzle style i start from drop down menu create new information tab assign the name here i am assigning it as shopping mall click okay in the list created parcel style got added if you want to change the label style same procedure select the parcel label right click go to parcel edit label style here you can change the label style from the composition tab so it became shopping mall and it become open space let me increase the text size here in the layout and the text size it got adjusted in property 1 i want to divide into multiple puzzle in rectangular shape for that i start from polyline to represent the road center line after create in the polyline we need to convert it into alignment use alignment menu create from polyline option here i call it as cross road 1 select the site after that we need to assign the road width i start from create row tool road width i enter 10 feet boundary i make it none after create in the division i want to create the partition using polyline option here i created a single line if you want to create it exact center point go to 
polyline use middle bit between two point option after the creation i want to convert it into multiple puzzle so that i am selecting the option puzzle by layout select the command slide line create select the site assign the property for that go to puzzle by layout select slide and command select the properties select the puzzle pick the front edge enter the angle it divides into multiple as per our requirement same way you can divide the remaining puzzles also Here we divided the next area also. After the creation, if you want to do small adjustment, select the boundary line. Then you can move to the required location. It automatically updates area based on the modification. Let me to change the properties here. Label should be puzzle name. The object style should be single family style. So you can create multiple options.